Welcome to Computational Science YouTube channel. Today we are going to see solution preparation. So, solution is a homogeneous mixture in which there is no boundary lines between the mixed substance. So, today we are going to prepare two modality of sodium hydroxide solution. Then, after we prepare two modality of sodium hydroxide solution, we dilute it into one modality of sodium hydroxide solution. So, we are going to see two uh, related contexts. The first one is preparation of stock solution of sodium hydroxide, then dilution of sodium hydroxide. Dilution means preparation of a less concentrated solution from more concentrated solution. We are going to dilute two, after we prepare two molarity of sodium hydroxide, we dilute it to the less concentrated solution, which is one molarity sodium hydroxide solution. So, to prepare two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution, we have to calculate the mass of sodium hydro the mass of sodium hydroxide needed to prepare two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution in 100 milliliter of water. So we have 100 milliliter volume of solution. Then we calculate the mass of sodium hydroxide needed to prepare two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution. So to calculate the mass of sodium hydroxide solution, we use the molarity formula, which is molarity Molarity is equal to number of mole of solute over volume a liter of solution. So number of mole of solute means mass of solute over molecular weight of solute. So substitute this number of mole into molarity formula. So molarity is equal to given mass over molecular weight times volume a liter of solution. So we are going to calculate the mass of solid sodium hydroxide. Mass is equal to molarity times molecular weight times volume in liter of solution. So we are going to prepare two molarity of sodium hydroxide in 100 milliliter of solution, in 100 milliliter of water. So we have volume of water, molarity of sodium hydroxide, and uh, molecular weight of sodium hydroxide. So molarity uh, mass of sodium hydroxide needed required to prepare two molarity of sodium hydroxide is equal to molarity two molar molarity means mole per liter times molecular weight of sodium hydroxide 40 gram per mole times volume in liter of solution we are going to prepare it in 100 milliliter of water so 100 milliliter of water is our volume of solution so when we convert 100 milliliter of 100 milliliter into liter it is 0 0.1 liter. So mole is cancelled by mole, liter is cancelled by liter. What is left is gram, which is the, the unit of mass. So mass is equal to two times two times 40, this 80 times 0 0.1 gram. This is eight gram of sodium hydroxide is needed to prepare two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution. Now we measure, we weigh eight gram of sodium hydroxide on the digital balance, then transfer it into a beaker or conical flask, then we add some amount of water, then we dissolve it. After that, we add, we accurately measure one milliliter, 100 milliliter of water, then we fill, uh, we add it into uh, a beaker or a conical flask. So this is a conical flask or a laminary flask. We use it in chemical laboratory to prepare solution in it. Then this is a measuring graduated measuring cylinder. We use it to measure the, the volume of liquid, the volume of liquid. Now I have one milliliter or, or 100 milliliter of water. So 100, we have, this is our what? Volume of? Solution volume of solution 100 milliliter. So I have weighed uh, 8 gram of sodium hydroxide Sodium hydroxide then I transfer this 8 gram of sodium hydroxide into a laminary flask After I transfer 8 gram of sodium hydroxide in a laminary flask 
Now I have measured 100 milliliter of water, which is our volume of uh, volume of solution. Then I add some amount of water to it to dissolve the sodium hydroxide. Just swirl or shake until it dissolved completely. Until it dissolved completely. Then, after it dissolved completely, add your volume of solution, which is 100 milliliter of water. Now, this is two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution. Two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution. Then, to dilute, to dilute this two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution to one molarity we use the principle of or the formula of dilution which is m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 so we we have prepared two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution now if we need to dilute it to one molarity of sodium hydroxide solution we need to calculate the volume of two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution required to prepare one molarity of sodium hydroxide solution. So we this is V1, M1 is equal to M2, V2. Our M2 is one molarity, M1, two molarity, our first stock solution. Then our V2 is, we are going to dilute one molarity of sodium hydroxide to one, uh, two molarity of sodium hydroxide to one molarity of sodium hydroxide in 100 milliliter of solution. In 100 milliliter of solution. So, V1 or volume of two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution required to prepare one molarity of sodium hydroxide solution is equal to M2 V2 over M1. So, V1 or Volume of sodium hydroxide, two molarity sodium hydroxide solution required is equal to what is M2? One molarity. Molarity means one mole per liter times what is our V2? Our V2 is we are going to prepare one molarity of sodium hydroxide solution in 100 milliliter of water. 100 milliliter over M1. What is M1? Our stock solution is two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution. So, 2 mole per liter. So, mole per liter is cancelled by mole per liter. This is uh, 1 times 100, 100, 100 divided by 2, 50. So, V1 is equal to 50 milliliter. That means we are going to take 50 milliliter of 2 molarity of sodium hydroxide solution to prepare 1 molarity of sodium hydroxide solution in 100 milliliter of water. That means we are going to reduce, we are going to reduce two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution into one molarity. That is why we call it dilution. Dilution means preparation of a less concentrated solution from high concentrated one. We are going to dilute two molarity of sodium hydroxide to one molarity of sodium hydroxide. So we need to take 50 milliliter of sodium hydroxide solution, 50 milliliter of sodium hydroxide solution from two molarity then we add it we add it into a beaker or a conical flask then after we take 50 milliliter then we add 50 milliliter of water 50 milliliter of water now it is concentration is reduced from two molarity to one molarity one molarity so we measure 50 ml this is our stock solution two molarity sodium hydroxide then we take 50 milliliter of sodium hydroxide solution 50 milliliter of two molarity sodium hydroxide solution
Now I have measured 50 milliliter of two molar sodium hydroxide solution. So then I add this 50 milliliter of sodium hydroxide solution into a beaker. Into a beaker. Then I add 50 milliliter of water. This is a distilled water. So this is a wash bottle which we use it in a chemical laboratory to wash. Uh, apparatus or to fill the liquid the water uh, to the measuring cylinder accurately so now it is 50 milliliter then I have taken two molarity of sodium hydroxide solution 50 milliliter then add one uh, 50 milliliter of water then I add it into a beaker now this is a diluted solution this is one molarity sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide so based on our calculation uh, if uh, we again further uh, dilute this one molarity to less concentrated 0 0.1 0 0.01 molarity just we calculate the required volume by using dilution formula Molarity 1, molarity 2 is equal to molarity 1, volume 1 is equal to molarity 2, volume 2, which means molarity of stock solution times volume of stock solution is equal to molarity of less concentrated diluted solution times volume of diluted solution. This is what we call dilution formula. So this is all about solution preparation and uh, diluting more concentrated solution to a less concentrated one for the next class we will see combination reaction i hope you have got some practical and uh, theoretical concepts of solution preparation if you are a new to our channel uh, don't forget to subscribe and share our channel thank you very much see you next time.